What's happening, my brothers from another mother's? <laughs> it's Bob, K6UDA, and welcome to the big or the little live show here. Uh, I call this Breaking Quarantine because shit, we're all hanging out doing nothing. Day, I don't know what, 642. Or it could be day 90. I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. It's all the same every day. Well, actually, it isn't all the same every day. Um, <laughs> this morning, my wife got me outside to uh, plant a few of her flowers. And, you know, she just had some knee surgery. So she's kind of a little bit unsteady on the feet. Well, she grabbed this light pole in the backyard and that thing uh it cooked off and uh and fell over so now i'm replacing a big light pole it was like 30 years in the ground so um the base was just completely freaking destroyed anyway good morning guys and uh, let me put some uh, let me put some of these specs on here. We'll check out some of the uh, some of the comments here as we go. Uh, let's see, my buddy Ryan KC9 OZA. Good morning to you, my brother. Uh, hope uh, hope life on the farm is good to you. Probably hasn't changed much for Ryan. Uh, let's see. KB9 OAK is here for the beer. And unfortunately, because I am a fat ass, um, <laughs> yesterday my wife put me on a, uh, on a pretty strict diet. I'm down to like 1,200 calories to lose weight. I can't have any alcohol, no beer, no nothing for, what is it, six weeks? I don't know. I can't even have any beef for, uh, I think it's like three weeks. My life is going to be uh, interesting. And I started this yesterday. And in the next, uh, in the next few days, we're going to find out just exactly how much of an asshole Bob K6UDA can become. Uh, let's see what else do we have in the uh, good afternoon from Kentucky. Yo, two. What is happening, my brother? Uh, you should come over one time and sit in here for one of these uh, one of these live sessions. Love to have you. Uh, let's see. 741 says it's blues day again. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, man, 62 people already on the stream. This is going to be good. I have a little something here from a uh, quirky QRP that we're going to open up. This ought to be, uh, this ought to be kind of fun. Uh, in a few minutes, maybe we'll get uh, uh, Jim from uh, Q -Q Quirky QRP to join us on the Skype. Um, I will. Uh, I'll put up the uh, put up the Skype thing, and uh, Jim, I will let you know. I see him here in the chat. So James Hannibal is in the chat. So in a couple of minutes, we'll get to that. I want to get to a couple of your uh, of your questions and comments. Looking um, looking for the uh, the questions that you guys might have for me this morning. I don't know how long we're gonna do this uh, uh, today. I mean, I know last week I did one that was two hours with Ray Novak, but you know what? I actually had something to talk about. I don't know if there's anything to talk about this time. So we'll see. Uh, let's see. I do see one. 
from KD2GIY from uh, North New Jersey. Hello, do you think Yesu will come out with a radio like the ICOM 705? I don't know. Um, you know, Yesu has been... You know, they kind of, everybody kind of goes off in their own direction. And Yesu has been pretty content with the, uh, with the 857 as, and the, uh, and the 818. They just redid that 818. And honestly, had they, had I thought that they would do something like a 705, they would have probably taken that 818 or the 817 scrapped it and went like you know like an 820 did you know change the number again and did something like that so i don't know it could be a possibility they've been putting out some very very cool stuff on the um on the mobile side and uh and on the uh you know i mean like like this one on the mobile side let me switch cameras over here the uh that's the uh ft ft4 ftm 400 really really like that radio very cool radio um the ft3 also just a stellar freaking radio but no they're not you know they're not 705 ish they're not hf radios uh yesu did release the 101 Delta, uh, not too long ago, I think last year. That's a huge hit. Actually, that radio is number one on the Sherwood uh, website as far as um, uh, receiver sensitivity. Beat out the Elecraft KX3 and K3. Uh, let's see. Um... Oh, we got from Greece. 73s from Greece. Thank you. Thank you for Greece. 80 people on the stream today and only 14 thumbs up. Guys, uh, if you would really like to help me, um, please smash that thumbs up. It is right below you. And also, um, let me find my mouse and I'll pull up my subscribe button. Yep. <laughs> Hit the subscribe, the bell notification right next to the subscribe. Please check out my uh, Patreon, which I don't have the little Patreon thing up here yet. Where is it? Is it in here? Do I have it? Thanks for... Nope, that's the super chat button. Super chat button is up or, or is ready to go. So uh, if you guys want to hit me up there and uh, 37 thumbs up with one thumbs down, always got to have that nice troll in there. And thank you for the engagement. <laughs> uh, let's see. What? No booze. No, no booze uh, for six weeks. I'm going to be booze free. Uh, no alcohol for six weeks. Yep. Uh, let's see. Hello. I can't read your call sign because it's in Asian, some kind of Asian. Uh, would it be a problem to take the Asian version of the ICOM 2730E to the United States? I don't think it'd be a problem to take that version of the radio over here. What might be a problem is, um you might not have the same the bands that fit within our our band plan the frequencies will probably be a little bit different there'll be some overlap but i don't know how much but great question never really thought about that uh let's see have to beat my assholeness uh from ghostman dka you'll have to have a ways to beat my assholeness. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> With 50 thumbs up so far, 
Um, awesome, dudes. Very, very cool. And let's see. Good afternoon from Fairfax. <coughs> I'm going to skim through some of these. Good morning, Bob, from Malaysia. Thank you. Uh, thank you for Malaysia. And guys, uh, if you uh, if you can't tell, I've done a little bit of camera swapping here. Uh, I have the nice Logitech up here. I also do have the shitty little uh, Apple camera. Hey Apple, if you're watching, if you're watching this, just take note. Apple Logitech. <laughs> Two thousand dollars, a hundred dollars. Uh, gotta love that. Let's see. Do I like? Question from Chris Cameron or Dammer Dameron. Uh, how did I like the FT seventy? I did like that little FT seventy. That was kind of my first foray into uh, into the world of fusion. I had borrowed actually. I actually had borrowed one of the uh, FTM 400s, put it in my Jeep for a uh, for a review. I ended up keeping it. I bought it from my buddy Jeff, and I bought the FT uh, the FT 70 just to uh, have a handheld to play around in the house. And I did like it. Then I bought the FT2. Uh, and the FT2 turned into the FT3. And I figured I'd pass the FT70 off. And I gave that to a new ham. Uh, you know, I, uh, I, enjoy, I enjoy seeing new guys getting into the hobby and getting, getting active here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I am smashed. Roberto Ellison smashed the thumbs up already. Thank you. Uh, 57 thumbs up. Oh, and that was one of my pilot buddies there. 91 guys on the stream. 57 thumbs up so far. Uh, and oh, and it looks like our one thumbs down went away. Very, very cool. Thank you for the unengagement. <laughs> Turn it into a thumbs up. Because, hey, we're all just sitting here doing nothing. It's Monday, I think. I think it's Monday. And we are uh, absolutely doing nothing. My wife is leaving. Bye, honey. I love you. Uh, let's see. What is good? Oh, I got the thumbs down again. Man. Guys are killing me. Uh, let's see. Can I use an ATAS 120 uh, as a base antenna? Yes, you can. You can use any antenna as a base antenna. Uh, really doesn't matter. It, it's um, and what the beautiful thing about an ATAS is, you're tuning the antenna, not not the radio. You're not fooling the radio with an antenna tuner making it believe that it's seeing 50 ohms and thus uh, making the whole thing perform worse. Uh, let's see. Does my 80 meter band go down as far as 3.5? Yes, it does. Uh, 80 meters starts at 3.5 and then goes up from there. And I, somebody had already bitched about, about that, that back here being glaring. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm being real careful. Newly licensed tech uh, from Douglas uh, Army. Newly licensed tech. Interested in digital, but it seems each radio band uses its own system. What is the most popular system in the Northeast so I can buy the one with the most activity on it? 
Dude, I live in California. I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody else on the stream that's in the Northeast. I guess that's kind of the uh, New York area. Um, can jump on here and answer Douglas's question. Um, let's see. 73 from BH4FDJ. Thanks for the help. See you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who else do we got? I'm in the darkest. Mike Smith. I'm in the darkest Derbyshire in the UK. Dude, I don't even know what a Derbyshire is. But it sounds awesome. <laughs> ah, my brother. My brother, Bob, too. Um... Thank you for the super chat. Maybe. Wait. Wait. There you go. Bob, thank you so much for the super chat. Super chats are open and uh, those questions are going to get uh, uh, are going to get If you answer ask a question on a super chat, you're definitely getting on the stream. And, uh, and you get my sincere thank you so much, man. That is freaking awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, and that got the... I got to change my... Uh, change my other thing. Well, you know what? That does remind me. It is time. It's time to open this thing up. So uh, I'm going to open up the, uh, the Skype call in there and looking for, uh, for James Hannibal. James, if you're out there, please uh, jump on in. I'm going to check the stream here for a few more uh, Super Chats. Any other Super Chats in here? And I don't see any. If I missed one, let me know. Somebody let me know. And uh, we're going to go back over to the regular camera here. And um, here we go. All right. James, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the uh, to the chat. I'm going to I'm going to try to get Oh, hang on here. It keeps opening up more windows and more crap. Um I'm going to try to switch us out. There we are. How you doing? I'm good. How are oh, you? Hey, nice to see you. Nice to to kind of meet you there. Yeah, nice uh, to meet you. Guys, too. this is James from uh, Quirky QRP and I'm going to Go over here and show off. Oh my lord, is it not working? Ah, hang on here. Come back over here and yep, I gotta. Okay, James, um, tell us. Uh, we got the. Uh, this is what the slink antenna. Slink antenna, yeah. Okay, and uh, oh guys, I uh, do want to show off my. Browse Blades Echelon. I am kind of a knife whore. And uh, these are numbered. I don't know if you could see it in there, but this is number 44 of, uh, of 500. They, he makes them in batches of, uh, of 500. I don't know if I can, if cool. it'll focus that close. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. It won't. All right. But anyway, this is the Echelon. This is such a badass knife, and it is razor sharp. We're going to slit this bad boy open here and open it up. And James, I will come right back to you. What, uh, ooh, look at that. A little ballon and instructions in here. So... James, we'll come back over here to you. What uh, what do we? Uh, let me see if I can.
come over to James. James, uh, what do we have over here? Well, the slick antenna is a helical HF antenna. It covers 80 through 6 meters. Mm -hmm. It has a 9 to 1 ball in it, so it requires an antenna tuner. Okay. And you just pull off the ends uh, to deploy the antenna. And there's a bit of paracord there with some carabiners and plastic clips to prevent it from getting stretched out too far. And, the, and the, the carabiner, or the, uh, the, the rope with the uh, carabiners on it, this is to, uh, to hook up to the... Uh, so now what, what am I using uh, as far as a coax? Or, or a, well, it looks like a BNC... For the coax, the 50 ohm coax. 50 ohm um, coax, and definitely. what am I going to use as far as? Am I using this cord here uh, to uh, as my antenna cable or what? What's so the, the cord, antenna? So the antenna is the slinky. When you open up the ends, when you pop off the ends, there's a oh, slinky oh. inside. Oh wow! So the 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 ballin is actually <laughs> protective case. For the antenna when it's when it's closed up and then you just extend the ends to deploy so both ends come off yes look at this oh my god that is like the coolest thing <laughs> i have i have ever seen that is incredible let me come back to my two shot here maybe maybe uh let's see I gotta unlock this. Give me a quick second. Nope, unlock and come back here with my two shot. How come my two shot isn't working? That is so cool. Well, I gotta go back over to this one to get to you. Maybe nothing's working now. None of uh -huh. my buttons are working. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Let me uh, let me jump Technology. out of here. Uh, give me a second, my friend. This is killing me here. I don't know why none of my buttons are working. This just locked up. So I gotta go. Uh, okay, I'll come back over. I could do it up from there, but it, it's like uh, everything. My uh. My little control panel, the stream deck, just absolutely stopped. Shoot. Dude, this is so cool. So how far out do these, uh, do these, let me see, what am I doing? This thing just quit working. That just quit working. Okay, so how far out do these, uh, do these go? So each side only, only goes out about six feet. And uh -huh. that rope there to prevent it from getting overstretched and to help reduce sway so it's kind of a support system for the antenna beautiful so i am assuming we're going to hang this from something a tree a whatever and yep. then these are going to hang off of branches or something else right i i've even just put it on on my fence in the backyard uh-huh about six feet off the ground just for then, fun obviously higher up is better and then those just go on we're gonna hang them from somewhere else and yeah. uh clips wow. go on so you stretch you put on the the carabiners on the end and the carabiner in the middle uh -huh. and then you stretch it out hang it up and then when it's once it's stretched out then the little plastic clips clip on to the the slinky itself Okay, Ordered. so does so there is it's one whole carabiner, and we're gonna stretch this out to a second. I'm gonna close this knife because I don't want to cut that open. <laughs> My so luck, I, I would. I typically hang the middle of the sling tenna first. Okay, so these are this is where you're gonna hang the middle. Yeah, from the top. From the top. Yeah, the little uh, eye hook in the middle. Uh-huh. So you're going to do that. I extend each. Oh, my God. 
Okay. Ever. Now you got one more over here. And you got, so you got one over here, one of these here, or do, or do you want these things to go in the, uh, on the end, on the edge, the, the end. Can't actually go in there right now. Let me pull the stream back up. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm looking now. Okay. So. Yeah. So the the other two carabiners. That carabiner see. goes on the on the end here. Actually, you take the the plastic clips. Don't uh, go on there. There's a center metal carabiner. Okay. The metal center carabiner goes on the. Um, Middle of the slink tenna. Okay. Metal carabiner. Yeah. Metal carabiner. And then there's two there's two metal end carabiners. They go on the ends of the slink tennis. Okay. So one on each end. Yep. And that way it doesn't get stretched beyond six feet. Okay. And then these hang up somewhere. These two? Uh, the plastic clips end up connecting to the middle of the slinky after it's stretched out. Okay. Yeah. So they'll just clip onto the carabiner. Yep. Once you've stretched it out, uh, the, the plastic clips clip onto the actual antenna element itself. Okay. Onto the... Oh, onto the... Uh... Onto the coil. Onto the coil. Okay. And that keeps it from swaying around in the wind a little bit. Beautiful. Beautiful. James, thank you so much. I can't wait to get this thing out in the uh, out in the wild with a little QRP radio and try it. I'm gonna try to get my I'm gonna try to get my cameras back now. Okay, there we go. Oop, but I want you and I want oh my god. That one is not working. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I've been using it solid for the past uh, year and a half now. Uh huh. It's pretty much antenna. Very, very cool. Very cool. James, thank you so much. Th this is very cool. What kind of um, what kind of performance should we expect from a uh, from a slink antenna? Well, obviously, it's not a. Uh, Full size dipole, right? So there, there are compromises. You lose a little bit of performance by gaining the portability and the small deployment size. Um, but I've, I've made contact in, in uh, a year. I've made contact with every state in the union with this thing only 12 feet off the ground. Uh, sometimes as low as five feet off the ground. But I recommend at least, you know, 10, 15 feet off the ground minimum to get mm -hmm. best performance. And uh, I've made a lot of DX with it. Um, Australia, Japan, Sweden, a um, bunch of South American countries, mm -hmm. uh, even Guam, where I got my license back when I lived there. Okay. Okay. So, you should be able to get a 1.5 to even 1.0 on SWR when you tune uh -huh. it up. It, you need um, a pretty good antenna tuner. So a lot of the the antenna tuners that are built into some base station rigs won't be enough because they have a small matching range. Mm -hmm. But uh, rigs like the KX2, KX3, uh, the X5105, or even uh, that uh, LDG tuner for the, the Yaesu QRP rig, I'm forgetting the name of it, all of those will work great with it. Or even uh, any add-on auto tuners or manual tuners for base station rigs. Uh, I like to use the MFJ 939. It's got a really wide tuning range. Uh huh. Wide. Very cool. That's I, I dude. This is this is awesome. I can't wait to go play with this thing. I'll probably have to uh, uh, get it out in the yard, shoot a little video, and uh, and and play with it. Um, so now. What I will need, though, is I will need a uh, coax with BNC connectors on both ends. Right. And I had to go with BNC uh, because uh, SO239 mount won't fit on such a small piece of, of PVC. It okay. certainly won't fit in. 
and it would just make it huge. So I went with BNC just to keep it compact and lightweight. It weighs in at roughly 12 ounces. It's only about, it's a little over six inches long when it's, when it's uh, collapsed down inside of itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, so I mean, I am, uh, let's see, I'm going to run back over to, to this. I mean, guys, look at this thing. When you close this up, literally, that's it. Take these things off, and and there's your antenna. I mean, this weighs uh, what? It feels like about eight ounces, nine ounces. About twelve. About twelve ounces. Okay. Maybe okay. a little less. So about not not bad. And then just. Uh, you just bind these things up here and you have a, uh, you've got an entire antenna system just sitting here just like that. And boom, in any backpack. I mean, that is, this actually, I see this as, as the perfect antenna system to take on my motorcycle, um, I, I'll travel when I do like an overnight on the bike. I take the, uh, the X5105 because I love the battery life on the thing. I almost never have to worry about it. And having a, having a small antenna like this, I think is going to be fantastic. Never even, uh, you know, I had never seen one of these. I, I kind of saw it on one of Josh's streams a long time ago, but it never really, it never really computed as to this is what it is. But that is so cool. And yeah, I mean, the Slink Tenna, what a, it's a Slinky, hang on, I gotta do it. I, I gotta oh. do it. <laughs> slinky, Slinky. <laughs> It's such a wonderful toy. <laughs> a slinky, a slinky for every girl and boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, James, you got anything else you want to talk about today? I don't um, care what it is. What have you been doing in uh, in Coronaville? <laughs> you know, I've been I've been building a lot of sling tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully yeah. now you're going to have to build a few more. Yeah, uh, so I've built, uh, I think I've built about 250 of them over the last year. That's uh, nice. So, yeah, just playing ham radio, you know. Uh-huh. What, Working uh, on what a few other of, Now, what uh, kind of hush, operating hush. do you normally like to do? I like to get out and operate outdoors. Um, in, unfortunately, I get stuck having to operate indoors uh, quite a bit, but I love portable operating. And that's kind of what made me think of the, the Slink Tenna idea, is I wanted something I could throw in my pack really easy, but then when I set it up, it wasn't going to be, you know, 100 feet of wire. Uh -huh. And I've run into situations in, in parks where, you know, people start looking at you funny when you got all this wire stringing across large areas. And with this thing, I can... It can hang under a tree. It doesn't even extend past the branches of the tree. And no one even knows it's there. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, real quick here, let me switch cameras. Ah, I'll go to this camera. Um, oh, hang on here. I got to stop for a quick second. Arnacle Brad, thank you so much for the super chat. And that comes in. Uncle Brad, you rock, my friend. Thank you. Um, let's see. And Barnacle Brad, if you got a question, just uh, jump in there. I was going to ask you a question. Uh, now, do you go by Jim or James? I go by Jim, James. Jim, you okay. know, anything you want as long as you call me for dinner. That's that's what I say. All right, all right. Jim is good. I'll call you dinner then. <laughs> uh, how much is a Slink Tenna? Uh, I think it's 65 bucks. 
I think that's what I got set at right now. Sixty-five bucks. That yep. that's not bad. I mean, now I gotta ask. You've got a nine-to-one onion in this thing. Yes. Okay, and um, and where do you where do you buy slinkies? I didn't even know they still made them. <laughs> they do, but these these actually are not official slinkies. Um, official slinkies don't get nearly this small. This this is more of a custom sized slinky. Okay, okay. I'm using these um, because they don't make them small enough. I, some of my early prototypes, I was testing out regular sized slinkies, and they're just too big. You know that it makes it not portable. I'd be dealing with a, a thing this big around. It would it you know just wouldn't fit in a backpack easily. Uh huh. And and have been around for a long time. Uh, last I read, I think they were used in the Vietnam War. Slinkies were used in the Vietnam War for for antennas. Um, but the constant problem was, and it was a it's a dipole, is you have to stretch out. You have to adjust the coils to dial it into to each band. And the problem with that is it, it, it sways around in the wind, and every time you change frequencies, you got to adjust this thing. So that's why I thought, you know, if I put a 9 to 1 ball in there, it solves a lot of the problems that Slink Tennis have had for decades. Okay. Uh, let's see. Northern Dawn asks, uh, what about the CW transmitter keying? Um, mm. Is that... Is, how many watts is this thing going to take? So that can take 100 watts for single sideband, 50 watts for CW, and 25 watts for digital modes is what I recommend. Okay. And and that won't blow out the uh, – it won't blow up your ballon? <laughs> no, I've, I've gone above those numbers, but that's, that's kind of where I set the kind of safe, definitely nothing's going to happen. Uh-huh. Are there. Uh, but I, I've pushed it. I've pushed it beyond that. I've I've gone so. And this is not recommended, by the way. This is not official. But I've pushed it as far as to tune it up on 160 meters and made some contacts on 160 meter. Oh really? But it, I don't recommend it. It's uh, it's pushing it. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I just yeah, 80 to six is is where it's at. 80 to six. Well, that's uh, that. I mean, that's a great great number there, and. Come back over to here. Um, guys, in case you haven't been able to tell, I'm still trying to get all this stuff worked out. That's why I'm doing all these live streams. Uh, I'm trying to get myself learned up for the uh, for the YouTubers Ham Fest. And James, I hope you I hope you uh, decide you want to join us maybe for the uh, YouTubers Ham Fest. I think uh, this would be a uh, a great, um, a great little product for us to uh, uh, to feature there. So that would think be awesome. It. Yeah, think about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see if there's any other questions for you on this uh, in the chat. Uh, do we have any other questions? And then we'll. Um, We'll do whatever. I don't know whatever uh, whatever else we want to do. Uh, two says, and I said I wasn't drinking. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Trust me, too. This is probably why I'm screwing up this bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. That diet you're going on <clears throat> sounds kind of rough, Bob. <laughs> yeah, it is. Trust me. It, it is. Uh, let's see, Bob, can I stick that in the front pocket of his jeans? Yeah, I guess I could. Um, if you're not wearing tight jeans. <laughs> well, I'm actually, I'm wearing sweats right now. You could see these. <laughs> Your quarantine. My, right? this is my quarantine uniform. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Roberto Ellison says, Bob fired the girls. Now the girls fired me. Um, uh, Danielle is, uh, you know, Danielle's one of mine and, uh, she's busy at work and now, uh, you know, schooling her kids. 
all my my both my daughters are schooling their own kids right now. <clears throat> it sucks. Uh, let's see. But uh, yeah, she was she got too busy. Uh, and let's see, camping concept says how much power can it take? Uh, James answered that 100 watt sideband 50 CW 20 on digital. 25 on digital. So, okay. 150 and 25. Think thirds. <laughs> uh, oh, so let's the, see. Uh, Go other ahead. ways you can are, you know, flat, vertical V, uh, I mean, uh, inverted V. I've tried a, a vertical L, and that was kind of neat because I could aim the counterpoise and give me a little bit of directivity with it, and uh, also a sloper. Okay, nice. But Very something, nice. It's, it looks like a dipole, and I get this question sometimes. It's not technically a dipole, even though it looks like a dipole. It's technically an NFED with a counterpoise, since it's a 9 to 1. It's, it's not technically a dipole, even though it looks like it. So the, the counterpoise um, is just the other half, and because, it, because of the 9 to 1 ballin. Um, you know, you want to make sure you're using at least, at least 10 feet of coax. Uh-huh. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, hell, if, if you're sitting right under the thing, you're in the near field and the near yeah. field is not a good thing to be in. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Agree. Okay. Uh, let's see. I got, uh, Ooh, Ooh, Fred, thank you for the super chat. Um, you get, you get that and let's see, you get the DJ <laughs> and cool. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, my friend. Uh, let's see. Wow. That, that was very much appreciated. Uh, let's see. If the wind blows, your SWR changes. Yes, from Fred. Um, uh, if the wind blows, does your SWR change? <laughs> I mean, if you if you set up the slinky too loose, you know, if you don't cinch down the ends, mm -hmm. that's certainly possible. Um, but that's the whole point of the the tension relief uh, rope on there is that you can that allows you to really tighten it up. So I've got one outside in the backyard right now that I set up on a fiberglass pole. And then it's just tied to my fence right now, and it's cinched up real tight, and uh, doesn't, and it gets a little windy here, and I don't have any problems. Okay. Okay. That's very very cool. Clips keep the the coil from swaying too much, and and the auto tuner takes care of the rest. Very nice. Very very nice. Uh, let's see. Anybody else have a question? Uh, let's see. Fred, uh, also says it's a dipole. Yeah, it is. This, this is a, uh, it's a dipole, <laughs> pure and simple. Very, very, very cool design. I, damn, Jim, this is, uh, I, I mean, um, I wished I would have known about this a year or two ago. I would have actually taken this up, uh, when I went up to the top of, um, Oh, what was that? Not Lookout Peak. I forget that. I forget what peak it was, but uh, it was like nine thousand feet. Oh, by the way, I just saw you're in uh, you're in Ripon. Yeah, you are right down the road from me. Really? Oh yeah. Uh, well, you know where you know where Sacramento is. Yeah. I'm fifty miles east of Sacramento. Okay. So. Over in that neck of the woods uh, a few months ago. Okay, beautiful. Well, hey, that that's nice. And guys, you could support a uh, support a uh, a local uh, creator there. And uh, let's see. Raj making these things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fred asks, uh, should I send more money to wake him up? Man, do am I? Do I look like I'm asleep here today? I don't know. You don't look it. Okay, good, good. Uh, let's see. 
And how do we get that slinky? From Roberto Ellison wants to know, how do we get the slinky? So go ahead, well, uh, Jim. It's it's all you. Yeah. So, I mean, a simple Google search, you'll find it if you type in Slink Tenna. But it, I'm on Etsy. So if you were to search Slink Tenna on Etsy, you'll find it. Okay. And do you sell them yep. on anywhere else other than Etsy? Just Etsy. Keeping it simple. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. Any issues? Oh, I'm starting to get some questions about it. Any issues if you spray paint it a different color for stealth? No, not at all. Okay. Um, it's not, you know, it is It is just um, PVC, so uh, long deployment outside, the weather could become an issue. Um, the PVC would be fine, but you might get a little bit of the outer micron layer of PVC might uh, might come off as a, as a dust. So painting it for long-term deployment would be recommended. Yeah. And spray paint the coils too, not just not just the PVC. Spray paint the coils so you don't end up with uh, any rust going on. There's there is a little bit of uh, like a resin coating mm -hmm. on on kind of elements, but I, I I wouldn't think that that would protect it for you know years and years being outside. So yeah, you'd want to put you know some rustoleum or something on there. Okay, okay, very cool. Hey Jim, thank you so much for uh, for calling in and being on the show. This is uh, uh, this was awesome. This was probably I think this is probably one of the best interviews I've ever done. Thank you. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> All right. Hey, and um, I will definitely get this uh, get this thing out in the field, set this up, and uh, and do a review on it. Thank you so much, man. It's awesome. Yeah. It does also, guys. It comes with instructions. So if you uh, if you're lazy and you don't want to watch this video on the replay after you get one, it does come with instructions. All and right. anyone can email me anytime if they have any questions about it. Okay, there you go. There you go, guys. Um, that's it. That's the Slink Tenna. From Quirky QRP. Do you have anything else you make, or is that is the uh, Slink Tenna it? I make the uh, Keychain QRP. It's the world's smallest HF transmitter. Oh, well, we have to. Do you have one you could show us right now? Uh, yeah, just a second. Let me grab. Let me grab one. It's pretty small. It might be hard to see. Here we go. Oh, that is freaking cool. So it's a little CW transmitter? CW, yeah. Uh, I've got it available in, uh, I think it's seven bands, seven HF bands. This one is for 15 meters. And I've got another one here for uh, 17 meters. And I've got them in 40 meters, 80 meters, 20 meters, 10 meters, uh, even 160 meters, which is getting a little silly, but it's fun. And it's just another one of my quirky products. That was my first one. Uh, puts out 160 milliwatts. Mm -hmm. And it's got a built-in micro key. Uh, just for fun. You, you can plug in a straight key there. Oh, wow. 3.5 millimeter That is jack. cool. And, and how, does it, how do you power that? You just slap a nine volt battery on the back. Oh, wow, that and is then the incredible. Nine battery, the nine volt battery kind of becomes part of. Let me grab a nine volt here. The nine volt becomes part of your keyer, so you hold on. You can hold on to the nine volt to stabilize, and then there's your your little key there. That is awesome. That is. That is an ingenious product and uh, very, very cool. I'll have to send you one of these someday. Yeah, yeah. It, it, that might, uh, it might help me uh, want to learn CW because I you know, really suck at it. <laughs> me too. I learned CW when I was a kid and I'm so rusty, I don't think I can say I know it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I could barely. 
I could barely key out, uh, you know, I could barely key my call sign. So. Yeah, I need to get back into it for sure. Yeah. These are fun because uh, you can't really hurt it. You, I mean, you could even probably transmit without an antenna on it. Um, I, I just put a little, I put a ducky antenna on here just for fun. Let me grab one. You can just put any ducky antenna on here. And the idea was, obviously it's not resonant at all, but you can transmit across the room and practice CW with someone across the room or in, the, in another room. Well, yeah, you can actually, you could uh, use that key CW and have your uh, KX, you have a KX3, pick it up and decode it for you. Yeah. And then you're practicing on the air. You know, half the half the problem with Morse code is being nervous about finally getting on the air and doing CW. It's like you can learn all you want, you know, on a oscillator, mm -hmm. but there's there's that kind of nerves about getting on the air finally. And this kind of breaks the tension a little bit because you can be you're on the air and you're yeah. you know you can be with someone down the street. Um, some guys took these to Sweden. I, I had a guy take the keychain QRP to Sweden. Um, they were going on some de-expedition, I guess, just some trip, and they wanted a pair of these. And they were making contacts out to 300 miles on the 80-meter band version. Wow. I, I assume they had a really good antenna set up, a good resonant 80-meter dipole. Oh, yeah. I You think? Oh, I, you think? Yeah. Okay, but you know James... What's, you Couple of quick questions. Yeah, before sure. I, before I let you get back to uh, uh, to trolling me in the uh, in the comments here, um, <laughs> what is your call sign? Kilo Hotel Two Sierra Romeo KH Two SR. Okay, so how did you get a KH Two call sign? I grew up in Guam. There's my Guam flag right there. Grew up in Guam. Okay. Very yeah, cool. So my Got our call signs there. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the one that he's the one that talked me into it. He said, you know, you, you got to get this call sign here before we move because everyone's gonna think it's cool. I didn't know what he was talking about at the time, but uh, he was right. It's definitely fun having this call sign. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, dude, that makes that makes it a lot of fun, and that it's a it's a conversation piece. Yeah. Okay, yep. uh, let's you see. I uh, got uh, got a couple of uh, yeah. Don H says, "Awesome! I wish I knew CW." Well, Don, order one. It'll give you the um, the incentive to learn. <laughs> That's what I keep. I keep threatening myself that I'm going to buy a Bagali key. Just so I oh. have to, so I have to put the time in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and one more question here from Matthew Clark: Can I use the Slink Tenant indoors? Uh, yes, you can. I actually have one. You can't see it right now, but it's above my head in my garage, only up about twelve feet. And that's that's the antenna I've been using the majority of the last year. And. It works great. Uh, you know, obviously the higher up, the better. Mm -hmm. um, that was that was part of my other reasoning is is because this is only ten feet, ten to twelve feet long, depending on how far you stretch it out. Uh, it's it can be useful for people living in HOAs. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I definitely I definitely see this as uh, as a uh, HOA solution. Let's just say that. Yeah, it's, it's a real HOA solution, though, would be let's change the freaking laws. <laughs> I agree. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, Jim, thank you so much for being on the stream. And, Thanks for having uh, me. You know what? We'll do it again sometime because I had a good time talking to you. And we'll just get on here and BS, uh, you know. I'm going to keep doing these things as long as as long as we're locked down. I think um, 
I think I want to just keep doing these things. So I think you should do the lockdown. Maybe not as often, but whatever works for you. These live streams are great that you're doing. Uh, well, cool. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, I appreciate it. And uh, I keep pushing buttons and changing cameras here because I'm you know I'm still trying to learn how to uh, to smoothly transition all this stuff. So. Guys, that's why it looks like I'm spastic and changing camera angles. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Very cool. Jim, again, thanks. And uh, and we'll catch you again uh, real soon. Uh, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that another one? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Fred. Thank you so much, man. Oh, man. Look at this. And that gets. Wow. Fred, thank you so much. Wow. Uh, very, very cool. James, uh, I, I thank James again for uh, for being here and uh, and for Hooking me up, James. Thank you so much for hooking me up with one of these. Now I just have to make up a uh, 50 ohm coax cable with uh, BNC connections on both sides. Uh, let's see. Buy more Jack Daniels from Fred. Um, I, you know, Fred, I am actually a crown drinker. And I will definitely buy uh, some vanilla crown. And if you haven't tried the vanilla crown, it is it is wonderful. It is a magical drink. But thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Who else do we have in here? Ah, look who it is. It's my it's my friend Sterling. And uh, he got the K8RA paddle. So you had to learn CW. Yeah, I have uh, over here, and I've got it kind of stowed away. This is my, one of my cheap paddles here that I, I try. Actually, this is a little MFJ. It is a MFJ 564. Works really, really nice. And, uh, and then I have this, this Kent. Single, it's a uh, it's a paddle, but it's a single key paddle. And I tried using this thing. I tried for the longest time to learn uh, to learn this one, and man, uh, it just it just never came to me. So I don't know. Uh, let's see, what else? What else do we have here? Uh, you guys have any other questions or anything? I guess we've been going for about an hour now and, uh, maybe it's a good time to, uh, to just, uh, call it a day and call this one the, uh, the Slink Tenna special. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, man, I, um, you guys that hit me for the super chats, thank you. Thank you so much, man. You uh, you don't know how much I appreciate that. Um, it keeps the channel going. Everything that comes into the channel, I, I always want to say that. Everything that comes into the channel here stays in the channel. It helps uh, it helps me buy equipment. It helps me buy you know some of the radios that uh, that I've got to buy to do reviews. Uh, I'm always buying, you know, new microphones, microphone stands, web cameras, uh, like the one that's over here or this one or, uh, or this one here. <laughs> so anyway, um, man, wow. Oh, holy crap. Holy crap. Fred, are you kidding me? Another super chat from Fred. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again. Wow. I, I am, dude, I, I am truly, wow. 
beyond words. I uh, got a hundred and a hundred and eight guys in the chat. Let's see if we could just bump up the. Uh, let's see if we could bump up the thumbs up. It, we're at ninety eight right now with two downs. Uh, can we get a hundred and eight or uh, now a hundred and eleven thumbs up, guys? If you're watching this and you haven't already smashed that thumbs up smash it right now bam bam hit it hard hard hit that mouse as hard as you can <laughs> fred is fred is banking um wow just uh unbelievable yes um uh let's see and ron uh ron says he has a 60th anniversary bagali and loves it. Yeah, I I want to get a Begali adventurer key. I think that would be awesome to uh to play with on my uh on my KX3 or whatever radio-ish 705 maybe <laughs> that I end up with uh when it comes out. Um let's see. Fred is Fred LOL Thank you, Fred, so much. And uh, oh, I have, I have another another super chat from Mike, uh, Mike Pasquale. Thank you, thank you, so much. guys. Uh, can't afford the crown, but get yourself a fine logger. Yes, thank you. Golf clap. Uh, let's see. We have 120 thumbs up. Thank you guys. Uh, on my phone, you don't see the thumbs up button. Turn it sideways, or turn it up, or turn it sideways, and it might, uh, whatever way you're not facing, turn it the other way, and you might get it. Uh, let's see. That. Uh, let's see. From, uh, <laughs> yeah, Sterling says he thinks I could now buy the Begali. I, I think I can. I think, I think, oh my Lord. Holy crap. Fred, no, that, I, that is, that is incredible. Holy moly. Holy crap. You get, you get everything. You get it all. The, the Glockenspiels. The party noise. The party noise. I'm going to try them all out here. The triangles. And the wow. Dude. Thank you so much. I, I am. I am uh, uh, just blown away. That is amazing. Wow. Speechless. Whoa. That is just incredible. Um, Wow. Ah, oh, man. Wow. Guys, um, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. If I, you know what, I, I think, uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Um, man, I'm going to, I'm going to come back over here. Uh, you know what? Before I do, I'm gonna open up the Skype line. If anybody wants to uh, uh, wants to go go ahead and call in on the Skype, uh, I will go ahead and take one more Skype call. Any questions? Any comments? Anything? Constructive criticisms uh, for the show? Anything you guys wanna wanna say or know? I am uh, I am here. Uh, let's see. Uh, happy ending. Yeah, happy ending. Uh, let's see. Anything else? We'll leave it open for just another. Send me the combo to Fred's vault <laughs> from, uh, from Mike. Uh, I am. I, I, you know what? That, that did make me speechless. I, I, wow. And I don't get speechless very often because I am, I hate dead air. I hate to leave you guys with dead air. I'm just, yeah, un-freaking-believable. 
Call Jason Johnson. Let me see if Jason... Uh, I haven't seen him on the on the chat. I don't know if I have him in my... Uh, let's see if I have him. Jason. Let me move this. Yep, there he is. We chatted. Let me see if I can call him. Everything's kind of... Uh, Kind of, I've got him on chat. I can't call him for some reason. Huh. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not working. Add to favorites. Wow. They work great. Uh, let's see. Let me uh, let me let me get through here. Um, Seven forty one. Never seen me speechless. Yeah. Wow. Last birthday. Holy shit, Fred. I, I this is this is incredible. I've got two of them here. Um, Fred. Thank you so much again for happy birthday. Holy crap. And, uh, and Jack Martin, uh, you too. Thank you. Oh, wow. Un unbelievable, guys. Unfreaking believable. Um, I, I am, I am speechless. And why is this camera so dark now? I don't know why. It, it, it was dark, now it's not. Now it's back to normal. Wow. Yeah. Un unbelievable. Um Wow. Okay, looks like I don't have any callers. So um huh, Lordy, Lordy. If you guys have any um any ideas, anything you want to see. On one of these live streams please uh, leave a message go back into the playback after this thing is is um, done go back into the playback leave a comment um, <laughs> Joe I think I'm gonna have to buy you a, uh, a 705 <laughs> <laughs> that has just been like unbelievable. Uh, I, you, you really just un man. Wow. I, I am, uh, I am, uh, <laughs> I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Um, well, looks like we got a couple more comments in here. Um, got from Bubba. From Bubba, another super chat. Thank you, Bubba. Man, I am I'm just gonna almost have to leave this thing up here. Uh let's see. Bubba says, Hope to meet you on the road sometime after the country gets back to normal. Yeah, I tell me about it. Uh this is uh it kind of sucks. We have been um uh we have been locked down here, like I said. I have personally been Pretty much locked down at the house here since February 28th when my wife had knee surgery. We've been in the house. 132 thumbs up, two thumbs down. Uh, Fred, Fred says, my pleasure and uh, have a nice day. Fred, you are the man and uh, man, you, you let me know. Anything you want, my friend. You just rocked my day today. This is un freaking believable. Wow. Um, let's see. Uh, have good friends, Bob, from Todd. Yep. Yeah. W W H six D F Todd over in the Big Island of Hawaii, and Todd has uh, ha has his own ham radio 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 podcast it's not a radio show it's a radio podcast um and i man 
can't even remember what what the hell the name is because my uh, my brain just switched into uh, into holy shit mode. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Um, man, unbelievable, unfreaking believable, guys. Um, let's see. I I you know what, Fred? I do have Jason's phone number. But my Skype is not set up with him on on Skype right now. So uh, I'll try to get Jason on for the next time we do the uh, um, for the next time we do the stream. Probably, who knows? Maybe Wednesday or Thursday morning. I'll try to put some uh, try to put something interesting together. If you guys have something you want reviewed real quick. Or something you want, you know, we could try to figure out on the uh, on the desk here how to figure out how it works. We could do that. I could show off knives like the uh, the echelon here from Browse from Browse Blades. Um, this guy is in uh, Southern California. It comes with uh, with a case because these are pretty high end knives, not as high end as some with a certificate of authenticity. And this one is number 44 of 500. He only makes 500 of any one design. So we'll close that one up. I'll show you guys one more while we're uh, getting ready to sh close off the stream here. And uh, this one is by We Knives. W-E, it's... This is a Chinese company, and they actually make a very, very quality blade. These are not a knockoff of anybody else. This is a Chinese company that went out and designed their own, and they, they uh, really make this. Give me a second. Focus, focus, focus. They make this so very nice. They make beautiful, beautiful knives. This is my first Wii knife. A couple of hundred dollars for those, but they are quality knives. Um, almost too good a quality for everyday stuff. Uh, let's see. Bob, am I going to come back on the YouTubers bunch? Are, are you going to be on the YouTubers Bunch live later today. Is the YouTubers Bunch doing a live thing today? I didn't know that. Um, Jason will tell you who I am from Fred. Have a nice day. Fred, thank you so much again, man. That is that is just unfreaking believable. Um, let's see. Uh, from Jack Martin, your review, purchased the Chameleon MCOM 3, put it up yesterday, works great. Yeah, uh, very, very cool, very cool little portable antenna. I think, though, if I'm hiking up a hill, this one is actually, uh, easier to carry up, and, uh, and it stores in a much smaller location. I'm going to have to go play with, I'm going to have to play with this thing today. At least set it up outside and, and figure this thing out. That is awesome. Uh, let's see. Todd Wilson. He does the World Radio Network every day, Thursday mornings on the uh, World Conference server. So go take a look at Todd's, uh, at Todd's show. Uh, what do I think of the buddy pole from John Benson? Never have used a buddy pole. Um, I was gonna I was gonna buy one at Pacificon a couple of years ago, and I forget what uh, what happened. I don't know what what happened, but I ended up not buying the buddy pole uh, at that point, and I still haven't got one. So anyway. Uh, let's see. And don't leave home without it. Uh, here's another uh, Chameleon M Pass 2.0 fan. And Todd uh, uses the MCOM 3. 
Let's see. My life will be a living hell. Drop the diet before it causes my demise. Well, I, you know what, Alan? If I don't drop the diet, and my wife's on the diet too. And she wants to drop, you know, she wants to drop some weight. If I'm not on the diet, I won't have anything cooked for me because my daughter and my wife made all this food uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next week. And that's all there is in the house. <laughs> so I'm on the diet whether I like it or not. So I'm going to try to like it, lose uh, 25 pounds, and I'll be much happier and a little bit healthier, maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bob Rules. Big fan of N-Fed Half Wave Antennas from Bubba. Yeah, uh, me too. I, uh, I have uh, a couple of N-Fed Half Waves that I use mainly out of the motorhome. When I, when I set up out of the motorhome, I use that and I love it. Uh, the, the new one, the, uh, MCOM, uh, the MCOM 3, MCOM 3 portable is what I use in the motorhome. And man, that gets, uh, gets out, uh, 80 through 10, just fine. Love it. Uh, let's see. My antennas.com stuff is real good. I will have to try them. And, uh, guys, um, Let's, uh, it has now been an hour and 18 minutes. I think it's time. Uh, I am, I am mentally just drained. Fred, you, 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 you took it out of me today. <laughs> you killed me. Thank you so much, man. Um, if, if, leave me a comment, I will get back to you. Thank you so much, uh, guys. This has been an incredible, incredible live stream. Um, man, very, very cool. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and say 7-3, guys, because... Oh, my God. How come my cameras aren't switching? There they go. I'm going to come over to here and... I got the wrong camera on. It won't uh, won't unlock, so I'll go over here, and I will say thank you again so much. Uh, this has been a uh, this has been a fantastic live stream. Uh, I want to thank Jim Hannibal from Quirky QRP. Thank you for the uh, Slink Tenna. Thank you for being on the show. Uh, I especially want to thank Joe, or I mean, um, uh, Fred. Fred, um, wow. Holy crap. I am, I am unbelievably uh, grateful. I am like speechless when I think about this. So cool. So cool. Uh, let's see. A couple of things. Little bits of business. To uh, to make up here, <sighs> please, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button as well as that thumbs up, 140 thumbs up, 112 guys on the stream right now, uh, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button right up in here, and there will be at some point a uh, bell notification right next to the subscribe button down below please hit that you'll get notified when i put out these live streams and or when i put out new videos and i've got new videos coming out at least once a week i love you guys thank you so much uh please check out my paypal my patreon if you have an email question i i can't put it all up live so uh k6 uda radio at gmail.com and leave a comment below. I am uh, most eternally grateful. Thank you, guys. I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here. 7-3.